Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bobo here from the Healthy Scratch Bushy and Bobo podcast. All your favorite fun stuff, your favorite re- resident neighborhood dummy when it comes to expansion drafts. Uh, yeah, so what's going on, guys? Um, first off, just want to say thank you very much for all the support you've given us so far on the last few videos. Uh, yeah, like we're, we're Bushy's video he had with uh, with Pius Suter here. We hit over 1,200 likes on that or 1,200 views. Is uh, Nadelkovich one? We had over 1,300 views. Another one I had for uh, OEL, right? 140 something views. And then he is a uh, Bertuzzi one. We just keep rolling on it with the. Uh, so we just want to thank you for all that support. Um, definitely, if you are if you are liking what you see, hit a like, hit a dislike, comment. We we love to uh, love to interact with you guys and, and find out uh, your points of views and your takes on some of it, uh, some of these things. At the same time, you could also reach out to us on on uh, Facebook, Twitter, healthyscratch.ca. That's the best way to find it all. And then, of course, the Bushy and Bobo podcast out on all your Spotify, Apple, Google, all that fun stuff. And, of course, YouTube. Anyways, why am I here today? I don't know. I'm asking you why am I here. No, um, the, re- the reason I'm here today is just I, I wanted to have a little fun today. I know things have been... Uh, have been uh, sort of a little bit busier the last week or so with, with the NHL entry draft and free agency and with trades with that and, and all that. So uh, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to have a fun day today uh, and do a ranking video. I know it's not something we haven't done and Bushy doesn't even know I'm doing this. So I just thought I'd have some fun today. Uh, and it's nothing new. I know a lot of people have done it. Jerseys, masks, logos, in all leagues, NHL, AHL, CHL, all that. Uh, but today I'm throwing my own twist on it. I'm doing my own ranking. Uh, I'm doing the NHL center ice logos and red lines. So anything between the blue, well, no, I shouldn't say that because some some of these will have uh, logos in between the blue lines. Uh, I'm just going more the, the face off dot, the center ice there. If there's uh, the name around there, give you my thoughts on it. and. It's, uh, it's my ranking, 31 to 1. And, uh, and yeah, so we're, we're just going to get into this and, and have some fun here. So uh, 31, I got the, the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, of course, I'm getting something up there too. Uh, the Vegas Golden Knights, why is it 31? I find it's way too busy. Uh, I know Vegas is a new team, flashy team, all that. But if they got rid of the... Uh, the black and behind the logo there and got rid of like the gold in there and just like kept that gold circle as, as Vegas golden Knights. Uh, I think it'd be probably a top five for me, but it's way too busy there with the, with the almost the full gold circle and that weird black pattern. And then like the little star things in there. Uh, no bueno on, on in my books. Number 30, I got the New Jersey devils. Um, I just find that logo is way too small uh, considering the size of the face off dot. Uh, it's it's nothing really to to meh at. So get big, New Jersey. Next, I have the Minnesota Wild. So this will be twenty nine. Um, I'm not a fan of the cream color. Some of the the things you're going to see with some of the with some of the logos, not all of them, is that center ice uh, that red line. Uh, sometimes some of the, the logos may actually pop in underneath there. Or, the, or the, at least the color. I feel if the cream color popped in underneath that instead of the white, it may be a bit higher. I also know it's a, it's an anniversary logo, so it's not their full-time thing. But from what I got, this is where you're at. You're at 29. Uh, 28, you got St. Louis Blues. And two, two reasons why it, it's not bad. It's not good. It, it, it probably should be higher on my list uh, if I were to go back and do this list again. Um, but for me, the logo just looks off center. And I know it's not, I know it's just because the angle of, of the logo and whatnot, uh, but it looks off center. It looks like there's too, too much white space in there behind the logo. And then the solid red line does not help. If that was broken up with uh, the little white pieces in between, like we've seen in some of the other ones already, uh, I think it would be a little bit higher, but it's just, 
And we're going to get into a stretch here where some of these could be very much interchangeable if I redid it again. But, uh, but yeah, just we're, we're sitting here at what, 28? Uh, 27, I got the Dallas Stars for a few reasons. I, I feel like with Dallas having a more predominantly white logo, it uh, sort of gets lost in, in, in the ice there. Um, the, the, the red line there or white line with the stars, that's pretty cool. And then the one thing that sort of just grinds my gears is uh, at the bottom of, of the logo there, you see uh, center is sort of just sen dash ter. Uh, and that's going to be coming up in, in a few of the year that that sort of just I don't like. So uh, Dallas could do better. Uh, 26, 25. Where are we? I don't know. Either way, uh, then we're going to go with Colorado. Again, another anniversary logo. Considering Colorado's anniversary logo was passed, I found this one just bleh. Not, nothing really to, nothing really excites me on that. Uh, also, how many times do you need to say ball arena? Uh, you got it four times there each corner. Um, and plus that name sucks. You are the Pepsi Center. That was better. I know it's a it's a corporate thing, but bring back the Pepsi Center. Next, Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, once I saw this, I, I just stuck in my head. Like I see it right away every time I'm, I've, I've looked at this is uh the logo itself in there, not bad. And the red line is nice, but nationwide arena. It says nationwide, the arena. Um, so yeah, fix that. Move that just a tit hair over to the side and we'll be good. And on the bottom, just the other way. And we're, and we're bingo bango. Uh, next, we're going with the Arizona Coyotes, number 23, I believe. A uh, couple things here just sort of just black me. Uh, I know they're going to the Kachina style uh, next year. I know it's the Kachina, the dark one's already their home jersey, and they're supposed to, won't surprise me if they're doing that to the white one this upcoming season. And then that this logo was previously when they wore the jerseys, the, the center ice. But give me a cool Kachina uh, logo at center ice there. And then the red line, do a cool Kachina pattern, and then move that Gila River over a bit so we're not Gila Riv Arena. And also, why is there Glendale, Arizona on the sides there? Uh, just get rid of those. Get rid of those. Move the Gila River over and just have Gila River on the one side, Arena on the other. Mwah. We'll be good. Next, we're going with uh, the Winnipeg Jets. And this is just because it's way too busy of a logo. Again, another anniversary logo, I understand. Uh, and a tribute logo in there as well. Uh, but it's it's way too uh, it's way too busy for me. You got the Jets down the center line, which is cool, especially a jet like the fierce part is the point, and you lose that in the red line. I know you're gonna lose it anyways if you once they put their regular logo back, but at least the regular logo you have more of a more of the jet. You see the wings, which have the, the angles. I guess you see them there here too, but it's just too busy. Also, Bell MTS plays four corners. Eh. I just noticed this though, but you got the two little Winnipeg Jet logos on the side there. I wonder if those are going to be there once they get the regular logo back. Uh, another anniversary logo here. Uh, we're at 21 uh, with the San Jose Sharks. I know it's an anniversary logo, so it is what it is, but that shark at the bottom there, he almost gets covered up by the red line. So it would be cool to see something bigger in there, but we'll see down the road. 20, the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, this is basically my, my brain. All I see is four orange cones blocking off center ice there uh, for their storm surge. Um, the PNC Arena logo around all four sections around the four quadrants, I guess you could say, around the logo. It's just overkill. It doesn't blend it with, uh, with the logo or I know it's the corporate colors, but it doesn't have no blend. Even if it was just in black, it would be better. Um, but eh, it's, it's just all I see are four pylons in the way. Uh, number 19, I got the Boston Bruins. So my first original six team. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. Uh, 
I love how it takes up the whole center ice and I love how they have the TD garden on the, on both sides there, but just the plain red stripe through there. Nah, eh, it's just boring. Um, cuts a white that's up, but it's just, man. And this is where a bunch of those logos that I said, if I were to go again and interchange, it could be definitely interchangeable. This is where the, where it starts. Next, I got my favorite team, the Vancouver Canucks. I would love to see the skate, the spaghetti skate come back at BR logo and our colors, but it's not going to happen, especially because Abbotsford now has the same colorway as, as Vancouver. Um, but it's, it's just meh, like the red, like the red line, at least there's some, some slashes in there. Of course it kills like the course kills go through and the kills going through the logo. Uh, so it sort of takes that out, which it has for everything so far. Uh, but I just find it, find it meh. You know, I said, give me that spaghetti skate back or even like there's, I know there's the one Johnny Canuck logo, the shoulder patch with the V the stick and rink logo. There's a couple things that Vancouver could do better. LA. Uh, again, we're still in that group from good interchange it. Uh, it's just meh. It's just average. You got the you got the custom red line there with the crowns in there. You got staple center on space properly, but uh, I think between especially between this one and the next one, the red to black is a harsher contrast than the next one which is the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Rogers place, I feel like it's an easier, the red to orange, red to blue is easier. Is an easier transition on, at least on my eyes, compared to the red to black. So just, a, just an, a, an average, meh, not too bad. Cool diamond pattern in the red line, but yeah. Now we're going down to the Florida Panthers. Actually, you know what, before we go to Florida, I also like with this one, with the Oilers, on the one half of the red lines is OIL, the other half ERS. You're not breaking up that text, which is what we're going to see with the Florida Panthers. The T and H and Panthers are sort of taken out, but I feel like there's, since there's more red in this logo, like red in this logo and in the corporate logo there, BBT, BB and T, um, sort of goes better together. I don't know. My brain's, I'm weird. In my expansion draft, I took Gabriel Landeskog, Vic, like Vladimir Tarasenko, all those guys. Like, come on, it, it's me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that's 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 what I'm seeing here. I think I feel like it blends better. And speaking of blending, we're going into the next one, another red, white, and blue, uh, with the Montreal Can Canadiens. You're getting the uh, Centre Bell on both sides of the logo. There, it'd be cool if they had it like a Bell Center on the one side and Centre Bell on the other. So you got the English and the French, but obviously being a ma majority French uh, city, uh, French province, uh, you're, it's going to be obviously catering to that. Um, cool how, I'm not sure if it's the, the way the striping is or the way that the logo is, but underneath the striping at center ice there, it's like the red part of the logo hits the red part of the striping on the center ice and the white hits the white. I think it's the striping because you don't see the blue undercut there, but the way they have it, it almost looks like it has done that and like it's the logo is popping up from underneath. Uh, then we got the Washington Capitals. Again, another red, white, and blue. So everything sort of blends there. Capital One Arena, probably the best sponsor if you're going to, if you have to have a sponsor name, you're the Capitals and you're Capital One. It's all good. It all goes together. And then the font even now, like I'm looking at it, sort of goes together with it as well. So and I like the red line, well, white line, I guess you could say, with uh, with the red stars. It uh, looks good there for them. I got the Flyers, and I said this is still in that group of interchangeable from like Boston to to here so far. Uh, big logo takes up majority of the circle. You got the name on on both sides. The one thing I really like about this is. I call it the Adidas striping down the, as the red line. You got the three stripes here. No other team has done it. They've, you see a lot of them with the red, white, red, white, but you, like block style in the red line. But yeah, I've never seen other, any other team do it like this. It's pretty cool. Uh, now here we go at uh, 12, 11, yeah, 12, uh, Buffalo Sabres. Uh, 
big logo takes up majority of the circle. You still got that white outer ring there uh, on the outside of the logo. Then you got the key bank there on each side. It takes up, it's just the, the nice color combination in there uh, and it pops nice. Number 11. Uh, yeah, this one, uh, the Anaheim Ducks. They have the custom uh, center ice logo there. And on the one side, like the D is facing up. That's what she said. And on the other, on the upper half of the logo, like up here, and then on the bottom part of the center dot, it's facing the other way. Uh, so he's got to take a blue pill for that. Um, but the logo tastes nice. The one thing, I don't know why, but the way they have the Honda Center placed on this, I think it fits well. Um, obviously Honda being, the colors are red, white, black, silver, I think. Um, but it just, I, I just feel like it goes well, considering red's not even in the Ducks color scheme. It all goes well together. Uh, this one I've had, like in my, I was debating on it for a while. I had it in my top three, my top five. I had it 20 and then it ended up sitting around here. So my top 10, we're starting out here with Calgary. The flames, great color. Like having red in your color scheme is definitely gonna make it easier with the, having a red line. Uh, then you got the custom red line too with there with the C's. And then if your sponsor has red in their color scheme too, it just works. So you got Scotia Bank here, uh, the Saddle Dome. I feel like every Canadian arena is either a Scotia, it's a Bell, or it's a Rogers. Um, but yeah, this one, I just didn't feel like, like all the red there blends well together. And uh, yeah. Number nine, I got the Leafs. So we go from the Scotiabank Saddle Dome to the Scotiabank Arena, uh, where Cannon Center. Uh, like we've seen with Montreal and like Washington, red, white, and blue, it sort of goes together. I know red's not a, one of the Leafs color, but it's the sponsor color with Scotiabank Arena. So having that in there, having the text in red sort of blends in that red line with the Maple Leafs in there, uh, in the red line. The logo's big, it takes up, uh, takes up the whole circle or majority of the circle, I should say. And uh, just pops real nice. Number eight, I got the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, again, red, white, and blue. They got the red from the sponsor there, Anneli Arena. And you got the less red in, in this in this uh, red line and you got the custom lightning bolts in there. Uh, get the Amelie logo in there too, uh, which we've seen in some other ones, but I feel like this one just pops real nice. Plus, so they, they've, been the best they've been the best the last two years in hockey but they're not the best on my list today bye bye that was overkill okay uh hold on. 10 9 8 7 pittsburgh penguins uh i like black and yellow together i know some people hate it but black and yellow i'm a pittsburgh steelers fan and uh over there i got a black and yellow Bel Air academy jersey from fresh prince um, just the logo takes up the whole thing, which the whole circle, which is nice. Yeah, uh, get the the spacing on the on the uh, arena name is nice there. Uh, the blue from PPG Paints it sort of goes in with the, with the blue line, in my eyes. So it doesn't necessarily. It's not like it's a random color coming in. At least you got the blue from the blue line there to sort of merge it all together. Uh, and yeah. Number six, we got the Nashville Predators. Uh, this is one I said, if I were gonna go back and do this list again, I'd probably have it a bit lower in my rankings uh, due to the gap between Bridgestone and Arena. I love how it has the Bridgestone font there. Like majority of these corporate sponsors have their, their font on these. Um, but the way the Bridgestone shapes around there, the, the custom uh, or the, the, the Predator, little Predator or NPs in there on the red line and then the logo itself, it takes up a nice spot. Uh, again, if I were to go back and do this again, I'd probably change it just to close up that gap between Bridgestone and Arena. My number five, I got the Ottawa Senators. So my second last one, my 30th pick was, was the New Jersey Devils because the logo was small. This is a small logo. And then St. Louis, I said it was boring because of the, like the plain red line. I feel like and this has a plain red line. But this sort of all goes together, at least in my eyes. Uh, you got like this classic logo. You're bringing back the classic Sens logo, uh, which has that big red spot in there. And then you have the, so the line sort of 
match is through there. And then you got the Canadian Tire Center, which is red. So it blends with that too. And on the other, so on the left side, it says Canadian Tire Center. And on the right side, it's Centre uh, Canadian Tire. So they're 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 appealing to both the, the they're right on the on the border there of Quebec. So they they're appealing to both the English and French. Plus, I know I'm not judging on it, but look at they got the Manscaped ad in there too. Can't go wrong. Number four, I got the New York Rangers. Uh, so when I play NHL video games and I'm creating a, an arena, this is the one I go. This is the the style of center ice I go after. I go after that big thick border on the inside, uh, and then with the team logo in there as well. So. I like it. I like the the custom, like the the. I don't know if it's it has the little ranger shields or if that's just squares, uh, but it, everything's class. It's a nice classic look on, on a classic team there in a classic arena. Number three, uh, probably one of the best logos in hockey or sports is the Chicago Blackhawks, um, and it just looks nice on the ice. I know the the red line is not over kill in red or white it has that nice perfect blend uh, or that perfect symmetry there. The United Center in blue is perfectly spaced. It has the nice logo. It goes with the blue line. Uh, it just looks nice. <laughs> Nothing more I could say that. Uh, so my top two, my number two is the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, again, the red line has the nice, uh, the, the white, uh, white, red, white, red, white, red. Little Caesars Arena around there, nice. Uh, and then we, even with the, the arena logo rather than the Little Caesars logo there. Uh, I think that's cool. I think that's sort of unique. And the best thing I like about this is that there's no hockey town written across it like there was at the Joe Louis Arena. Oh, it's classic. Why, why, Detroit's hockey town. Detroit was hockey town. Detroit will be hockey town. And they still use hockey town in their branding. They've modernized the hockey town logo and they have it in in the Little Caesars Arena, they have it in on mugs and, and souvenirs and the cups that you buy concessions. Uh, but you're not Hockey Town right now. Hockey Town was success in the 90s, success in the early 2000s and mid 2000s. You're 97, 98, 02, 018. That was Hockey Town. If they would have put that on here, it's just no, you're in a rebuild. It looks so much nicer with just the wings logo. So keep it as that. And even once you get started having, once the wings start having that success again, which they're going to with the Azure plan, keep it as this. It's like you have a nice classic logo. It's clean on center ice. Even with the other logos there, like the Meyer, the Belfort, Chevy, Burns and Wilcox, it still looks nice. If you put Hockey Town across there, you're going to clutter it with too much wording all of that. So just keep it as, as clean as you can while we can before more sponsorship takes over. So that brings us to number one. If you haven't been ticking them off in your head, uh, it's the New York Islanders. And I'm using the Nassau Coliseum uh, version. I don't, I'm not sure if it's similar at Barclays. Uh, I think they're still going to be playing in there before they move into UBS. I believe UBS is supposed to be start like supposed to be done for this upcoming season. Don't quote me on that. Actually, if you want to rip me in the comments, go right ahead. Um, but I know UBS is coming in and I'm obviously there's no ice on, on what it's been like or this past year. Uh, so yeah, I, I love the color, the blue, white, orange pops. Well, NASA live NASA veterans Memorial Coliseum, perfectly spaced not a corporate arena. That's what I like. Uh, I'm not based, basing this just on that. I think it's one of the, I think it's one of the cleanest, like I said, this in Detroit, probably like I said, they're my one and two for a reason. Uh, two classic logos and uh, one obviously with a corporate sponsorship, the other one not. Um, just with a circular logo, obviously you're, you're going to make it almost the full thing, if not the full the circle like what New York did here, uh, but it's really clean. And that's my list. So, uh, so yeah, just a fun video today to do. Um, definitely let, if, let me know your favorites, let me know what you would change, uh, your least favorite, all that fun stuff. And again, thank you very much for the support uh, we've had the last few weeks uh, growing this channel and 
uh, growing everything we've had uh, with our podcast and our, and our website and all this. Again, healthyscratch.ca, uh, Facebook, Twitter, obviously YouTube, Spotify, anywhere you can get uh, your podcast. Oh, and one more thing before I do go, I wanted to do this at the beginning and I forgot where I got all these, uh, where I got all these logo or rink designs or rink uh, layouts uh, was from the faceoff.net uh, website there. It looks like it has it from for bunches, bunch of leagues, NHL, AHL, ECHL, the three, like the OHL, the Q, the W, SPHL, NWHL, NCAA Olympics. Um, I'm just going off of what I saw, like what he had on his site for, I just went to center ice and, and look, um, I'm going to put a link for for his site in, uh, in the description below there. Uh, but definitely check us out on healthyscratch.ca and we're, uh, and we'll, can't wait to, to wait, we can't wait to the next video. We have a bunch of stuff coming down the pipeline and, uh, and it's going to be fun. So until then, thank you again for your support. It's been your boy Bobo. Have fun with, with, with whatever you're doing and, and enjoy the summer. And Hey, hopefully we get some fun hockey stuff coming soon. Take care boys. Cheers.